Welcome to Out There Nomad. My name's Paul, and I'm going to achieve the triple crown of hiking. On this channel, I'm excited to share my adventure with you and what I learned along the way. In this video, I'm excited to share with you my extreme minimalist lifestyle that I live in between trails to help me prepare for the trail and so that I can save extra money. Today, we'll be taking a tour of my tent where I'll be wintering this year before the AT. Let's get out there. I apologize for the quiet nature of this video. Um, being that I live in a neighborhood, it's very noisy around here. Um, so it's currently about midnight or so right now. Um, I'm ch choosing to shoot this video at night to keep down on the outside ambient noises. There's a lot of air conditioners, people talking, people driving and honking horns and stuff. So again, uh, I'll try to speak up a little bit, but I'm trying to keep things down a little bit too. So this is my Kodiak Canvas two-person tent. Uh, I wintered here last year. Uh, I rent a space in somebody's backyard, actually in Salem, um, right in the middle of a neighborhood. And I really enjoy it, actually. It helps me save money. Uh, I do get uh, access to the house for laundry and the kitchen if I require it, and bathroom and stuff, which is really handy. And I've been living an alternative lifestyle for probably coming up on five years now, where I personally don't particularly care for renting or staying in actual houses. This is more than adequate for me and it, it allows me a certain level of freedom that I don't think most people get. I also feel that living this type of lifestyle really helps me hone in on my goal of achieving the Triple Crown. Uh, it allows me the freedom to be able to spend time uh, that I'm not working, doing these types of videos and uh, preparing myself for the uh, trail for that year. So I while I'm wintering here, I will be preparing myself for the Appalachian Trail. Join the journey by hitting the subscribe button and ring the bell notification to stay caught up on the adventure. Okay, so we will go ahead and begin in this corner here. So this is where I keep my shoes and my little bag of trash there back there. And this is my bookshelf. Got this nice little folding camp shelf here. Excellent for holding my coffee. There's not a lot of flat spaces inside of a tent. So, and move over to here. This is my little power station area. This is where I keep my uh, batteries and all my chargers and everything else. It's going to be directly in there. And which also leads up to my Goal Zero lights. Which have been very nice and handy. They're very bright. Keeps everything well illuminated in here. And being LEDs, they actually last quite a while. So, and we'll move over in this direction. This is my cot. I have a low profile uh, cot from Sportsman. Uh, it's definitely much nicer than sleeping directly on the ground. I also have a uh, little foam pad that also fits directly underneath here as well, which gives me a little bit of extra uh, insulation and padding from the ground or padding from the cot itself. This is the exact same sleeping bag that I brought with me on the trail this last time. It's a 40 degree bag, which is fine for the summer conditions I'm in, but I do have a zero degree bag that I'll be using during the winter. So we'll go ahead and switch sides. Okay, so on this side of the tent, uh, I have storage down here. The blue bag is where I keep my dirty laundry. Uh, I also have these uh, Seattle Sports. Uh, it's waterproof bag material that they use for two sinks. Uh, for fold up, fold up sinks for camping and I got them for storage inside my tent to organize things up so I use this one for my uh, clothing so I have like tops and socks in here and then bottoms uh, pants and jackets in the back I have another one I use up here right now it's sort of a catch-all uh, I typically I keep all my food and other uh, stuff that I want more access to readily 
in that tote right there. And then I also have a couple totes underneath right here where I keep miscellaneous. Uh, so I have like uh, uh, winter clothes and backup stores and foods and stuff in here. And then right here, this is all of my all of my bathroom kit. Everything I need for the bathrooms right in there except for the towel, obviously. And for what most people are concerned about when I tell them that I winter in a tent is how I heat everything. So I have a buddy heater. Uh, it does have an oxygen sensor and a tip sensor in it. So if it does tip over or anything, it will shut off. Or if the CO2 gets too high in the, in the tent itself, it will shut off. Um, but I also do keep my windows open. Um, even during the winter, I keep them cracked or the front door is open. Uh, but I mounted it to this little tote right here I got for a dollar at Walmart. I put some rocks from the mountain up there um, in the bottom to sort of weigh it down so it doesn't want to move or fall over. And I will go ahead and show you guys a clip of the little propane tank that is in there. The only other thing I haven't really shown you yet is I do have a rug in here, which is nice. It's so sweet to have this little rug um, on the floor right here because I do spend a lot of time just sort of sitting in here and enjoying myself. So I hope you enjoyed this short tour of my little uh, minimalistic small tent. The moths love these lights, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tour. Uh, if you have any questions about my lifestyle, how I get around, um, why I chose to do this, anything like that, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me for this quick tour of my tent. And as always, stay amazing everybody, and don't forget to get out there. See Jimmy, now I'm filming again. Right now. Right here. This is your warning. Hi. <laughs>